Hi, I'm Johnny from UltimatePaperMache.com and I got my new wolf painted. Now this is not the old pattern. I do have one. You see right up there. <laughs> the, the wolf mask pattern was one of the very first patterns that I ever made for paper mache. This one is made for the wall. It has quite a few more pieces in it and it does take a little bit longer to put together, but it's also got a lot more details on it. It's much more realistic. And I personally think it was worth a little bit of extra time. If you'd like to see how all the pattern pieces go together, I do have two other videos there. You can find them at ultimatepapermache.com slash wolfhead pattern. And those two videos are going to show you how all the pieces go together so you can kind of see how that's done and how long you think it might take. And the other video shows you <laughs> how I got a little bit carried away with the, the texture with the paper mache clay and with that new modeling paste recipe that I just came out with recently and how to give your wolf uh, an expression. I went for serious, <laughs> that's what I'm calling them. <laughs> But you can give him any expression you want. Just go ahead. If you've got a dog in the house, use him for a model. Or go ahead and look at some of the thousands of wolf photographs out online. There are so many photographs out there. And there are so many different expressions that wolves and dogs can have. That I think that's going to be really the fun part. Especially when I start getting to see the ones that you guys make. Because they're all going to be different. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I painted it. That part went really fast. So get, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to start out with some black, warmed up with just a little bit of burnt umber. The neighbors are making a lot of noise with some new construction project they've got going on right outside of my studio window. So, so I'm just going to put on some music and speed everything up. You can go ahead and watch it. Maybe put on your own music if you don't like mine.
he's all done except that, I do want to give him a coat of varnish, maybe two coats. I'm going to use a matte varnish, and I'll put some fingernail polish on his eyes. But I'm going to do that later. He he, he just got done just about an hour ago, and I, I want to let that paint dry and, and cure probably until tomorrow, and I'll go ahead and finish that part up. But other than that, he's all finished. I'm going to put him up on the wall. You, even though I painted it really fast, and it was just really just three colors, I still think it came out really nice. So... If you would like to make a wolf of your own, you can find the pattern, like I said, at ultimatepapermache.com slash wolfheadpattern. There is a small charge for it. You can also see those other two videos on that page if you'd like to see how it's put together. And then, if you do make one, please come back to my website and click on the Daily Sculptures tab up at the very top so you can send us some photographs of your wolf because I really want to see how these come out. Every single one of them is going to be so different that I, I just I can't wait to see them. So if you do make a wolf, I, I really hope that you'll share. And in the meantime, come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.